is my last session before going to just been training for the past two weeks for this or ever since the draft yeah i've been training for this you know this moment so it's gonna go do my thing man no nerves just gonna go ball out i gotta take that no one's gonna give it to me no and yeah i'll probably have you block all that out just bleep the whole thing out but yeah nah let's uh let's do this boy come on Good. We got a super packed day today. Doesn't hurt to have a player like Ben Valadez. How's man talk about pressure? I don't feel pressure. First thing on the itinerary, we're gonna see. Well, I'm gonna see, not we. I'm gonna see my therapist. I haven't seen her in like a year or something like that. It's been a while, and it's just like, just to honestly, just go, you know, let out everything that I've been thinking for the past, for the past. Six months, honestly. I gotta go work out the brain real quick. Nothing too crazy. And then after that, we are going for a run with Adam, our strength coach. Well, yeah, our strength coach at Penn State. Technically, I'm not enrolled in Penn State anymore. Whatever, gonna go run and then we're gonna lift. And then after that, I'm gonna have lunch and probably, well, yeah, I'm gonna go play pickup if, uh, if the boys are still playing pickup, uh, the boys at Penn State and then if not, I'll probably just go get some touches in on my own. But yeah, we'll see. Good day, packed day, excited for it. Right now I'm making my oatmeal, oatmeal, almond butter, kind of my go-to breakfast staple. It's pretty quick. If you add enough almond butter, it can be calorie dense, enough to get me through the first part of my day. But yeah. from pickup, a little shower. I'm about to go get dinner with my girls. A good little pickup session, nothing too crazy. I mean, we played like three games to seven or something like that, but really fun. Uh, we are, tomorrow I do conditioning and then we'll see what else we do. But there will be no video tomorrow and there probably won't be a video for a little while. Not that video stops me from locking in, but like, I don't know. I just really need to take care of a few things and I just want to make sure that I go into uh, what's next at 1000%. Try to reach a new level of lock-in, if you know what I mean. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm getting at, but it might be a little while, but there's going to be a big video at the end, or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's kind of how this uh, social media journey has been. It's just kind of spontaneous. So yeah, I'm going to be transparent with you guys throughout the whole way. So be patient with me, you know, working hard to make sure that uh, achieve my dreams. I've wanted this since a kid, so I don't want anything to get away with it. So I'll see you guys in a few. Don't know how long I'll be. In the meantime, keep training, keep getting better, and I'll see you in the next video. The only content you probably expect is I am doing a boo review on the new Predators with the with the tongue, and that's going to be on TikTok. But yeah, besides that, I'm staying off social media for. In, I don't know how long. We don't know. But I'll see you later. Peace. We up. Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? It's been a fat minute, fat minute since uh, I recorded or made a video. And guys, man, the truth is I just had to, you know, super lock in. You know, I couldn't, like, I just couldn't be recording. I was just super focused, more focused than I've ever been in my life. Not ever been in my life. I've been this, this type of locked in before, but not realistically, man, like... It's been, it's been hectic, but we got our first professional contract offer. I haven't signed anything yet, but you know, uh, we're working on getting the details sorted out, but you know, man, I'm just so blessed. This is just the intro. I'm gonna tell you guys what's been going on for the past week in preseason. If you don't know already, most of you probably don't know, I've been keeping it to myself for the most part, is uh, I've been in Houston uh, with Houston Dynamo, so, Basically, right after the draft, you know, obviously I didn't get drafted. They had called me, you know, one of the coaches. Uh, I'm going to refrain from using any names. I don't think that's, like, appropriate. But they called me and they said, hey, 
you know, I'm sure you're disappointed right now, but we rate you as a player and we want you in for preseason. And, you know, man, it's even leading up to preseason, man, that was like, it definitely wasn't the hardest thing I've been through in my career, but like, I mean, you guys saw me, like, I, I didn't like look like I felt my best, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was devastated, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like, what I was showing you guys on camera was a way better version of like how I was actually feeling, man. Like this is playing professional is the dream of mine, like my whole life. It's all I've ever wanted to do since I can remember. And like to like be so close and work so hard and then not get drafted was so like, you know, it was tough on me. Obviously we bounced back from that. We came into preseason and we started playing super well. Even like after the college season, like we didn't get picked for the tournament. And after that, I was like, I was devastated after that, but I was like, you know what? You know, I got through that. Then boom, work super hard, train, train with Adam. Shout out to Adam, strength coach, best strength coach in the world. But, you know, training, 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 get to the combine, don't get drafted after that. And I was, you know, devastated, like I said. But boom, we, we got back to work right away. Like I said, you don't have time to feel sorry for yourself. We got right back to work, took this opportunity, and, you know, we got our first contract offer. And what I've learned about being here in uh, this uh, environment, professional environment, is that there is so many highs and lows in this. The highs and lows are crazy and you just have to really just, you know, balance it out. I started out, got here, got to Houston and, you know, training with the with Dynamo 2, which is the, the second team. You know how every MLS team has a, a second team. Training with them, thought I was doing pretty well, you know, meeting the guys, getting comfortable, stuff like that. There are a few other trialists in with preseason you know, made a lot of good friends and stuff. All the guys are here, cool. And then boom, uh, a weekend, you know, I'm doing well. And I get my first call up to train with the with the first team. And, you know, training with them is just a whole another experience, you know, class players. But, you know, it really makes you realize like how close you are, you know. There's, there's things I can improve in my game, but, you know, I really believe that uh, I can play at a super high level. I believe that, you know, one of my best strengths is being able to learn, you know, getting to train with the first team was amazing experience. I trained with them two times this week. Back with the second team for 11 v 11s, uh, thought I did well in that. And then today or tomorrow, I'm back with the first team and they just sent me a text, literally just before I'm making this video, that I'm gonna be joining the first team in Mexico. So I mean, like things have happened, like even though I've only been here for two weeks, not even two weeks, like a week and a half. I've been here for a week and a half. I've had like highs and lows, you know, highs and lows, getting called up, getting put, I mean, not put down, cause you know, it's still a good level. I don't like not saying that, but like, yeah, you're just gonna experience so many highs and lows. And like, I'm just trying to keep like a cool head, you know, grind every day. Every day is a chance to get better is where my mindset's at. I don't know, man, no, things happen so fast. So, so grateful. Thank God for this opportunity. I'm so grateful here to, to make the best of it. So uh, we're gonna keep grinding. Haven't been recording anything in the facilities or anything like that, just because you can't be like a new guy, just like recording everything here and there. Another reason I haven't been recording stuff is cause like when I get to the locker room, the Houston locker room, like I change, I put my phone down and I don't bring it like, cause you, you get to the facilities like two hours before training, you know, if you're with the first team, you eat breakfast first, but forget those details. But I just leave my phone and like lock in, you know what I mean? Like I'm just, you know, I'm really here to get better. You know, I, I think I can really improve here. Hope you guys understand not, you know, recording too much. I think maybe it's a possibility that we get to the point where I can show you guys a little bit more, but for the most part, I'm coming to training to get better, so I probably won't be recording too much, to be honest, but yeah. Playing pro after college is like no joke. Like playing pro in general is no joke. Like this shit is really a business. Like you're looked at as a number. You're looked at as a, a dollar sign, you know, a way for a team to make money, basically, or an organization to make money. So, you know, I'm gonna be showing you guys what that's like. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I'm managing my money. Just cause you're a pro does not mean at all that you're making like big money. Like I, my first contract definitely will not be a lot of money. But since I was a kid, the thing that I wanted to do the most was play professionally. And I didn't care how much money that was genuinely. Like there's a point when I was in high school, like I would have played for like, you know, not nothing, definitely need something, but I, you know, I would have played for not not a lot of money. And we're starting out now, 
This is the start of a long, long journey, so stay tuned because I hope you guys, you know, some of you might be on your own pro journey right now. Some of you guys might be in college looking to play pro after. Some of you guys might be in high school, MLS Next, ECNL, whatever league you're in, trying to, you know, play pro, play college, whatever. I'm here just to document my journey, show you guys what I'm learning. And, you know, the cool thing about this is that I've met so many people, so many pros, so many college players, and I just, like, know the ins and outs of this stuff, you know? It's not, like, you know, really well documented. Trying to make it, you know? People, everybody sees, like, how it went when somebody made it for real, but, like, for me, you know, trying to grind, trying to make it, I'm here to show you guys that. So, yeah, boom, see you guys soon. Peace. Man talk about pressure. I don't feel pressure. Yeah, man, like, <clears throat> that sounds, yeah, man. Bro, <laughs> why did I sound like that? But, 